This is the city, Los Angeles, California. Since 1967, an NHL franchise has been here. And in 2012, they won it all, the Kings. Greetings, everyone, along with Stanley Cup winner from 1994, Eddie Olchek. I'm Mike Emmerich. That hallowed trophy will probably be in the building before the evening is over. Tends to be fashionably late when it could be handed out. Think of this from the perspective of the team facing elimination tonight. They know their dream of getting their name on the cup. That cup's going to be in the building, but maybe they aren't going to get it. So how do they think about this game? Well, I think that's a little bit of a motivation, Doc, to keep the Stanley Cup behind closed doors, give themselves an opportunity under this adversity to get back in this series. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. In goal tonight is Jonathan Quick, Stanley Cup champion with Los Angeles, won all 16 games you need to win to start a parade, and was playoff MVP that spring of 2012. Jonathan Bernier, the netminder tonight, won a Stanley Cup with Los Angeles, led the American Hockey League in Manchester with nine shutouts, and was a three-year member of the team in Lewiston called the Maniacs. Great name for a team or at least for a team's fans. To Voinov. Shoots. He scores! <laughs> the Kings win that neutral zone faceoff. That one went right past Ray into the bench. Assisted by number 26. Looks ahead to start something. And the game is over. The series is over. These are the Stanley Cup champions. These guys started back in the fall. Their dream was to be at this very moment. And the dream is realized. It always amazes me at this time of year how they can change from disdain to calm congratulations. Tradition. The man chosen playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy. Boy, is this ever well deserved. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. And there's always a pecking order as to how it gets handed off, and that's all a part of Stanley Cup lore. You can only imagine how much soreness you fight through in a collision sport. Guys have lifted this cup with dislocated shoulders after hernia surgeries just two days before. Doesn't matter. It's over 30 pounds. They find a way. You play that hard and that long. You get your names on a trophy, rings on your fingers, and one last photograph evidence of it all.